let's understand scheduled apex in salesforce so you can run apex classes at a specified time so let's suppose you have implemented an apex class and you don't want to run that code immediately you want to run that code at particular uh, day or time so uh, you can uh, implement that apex class with the help of uh, scheduled apex the benefit of implementing schedule apex is like if you want to run maintenance task on daily or weekly basis so uh, these uh, scheduling of apex class will help while implementing any apex class if you want to convert that into scheduled apex class so you need to implement schedulable interface for that purpose so if we uh, take a look on the syntax so here you can see name of class is some class and it implements schedulable interface and then you need to implement the execute method so this is a brief idea about uh, schedulable apex schedulable interface and schedulable uh, apex class now i am going to uh, show you uh, implementation of simple apex class then i will show you like how you can schedule it through code and through ui so i am creating a class as task utils and after creation of this class i am going to create one more class whose name will be remind opp owners remind opportunity owners right so in this class basically i am going to implement schedulable interface right and now here i am going to write the code so naming it as like scope will be global and uh, global void and then we need to write execute method then schedulable context so variable name is ctx so you can take any name here now creating list of opportunity opp list and then you can query some records on which uh, you want to apply the process So this is basically our SQL. So uh, we are querying ID name, owner ID, close date fields from opportunity where is closed equals to false and close date is less than today. So we need to remind those opportunity owners, uh, th like uh, those opportunities which are not closed and close date is less than today. So I am going to call task utils dot mind owners method and passing this opportunity list and here i need to define this method public void the mind owners list of opportunity opp list so this is basically a method and here you can write the code okay so i'm just saving this class and it is saved and here you can see in this uh, schedulable apex class uh, we are calling this method remind owners so uh, this remind owners method is available in this uh, class task utils and uh, so let me check the errors So there is typo, I need to modify this. And I think there is some mistake in this method name as well. Okay, I need to define a static. 
So because I am calling this method through class name, so I need to define it as static. Now it will be saved properly. So this way, basically, I implemented uh, these two classes. One is uh, task utils that will be having actual logic, and uh, uh, this remind OPP owners is basically implementing schedulable interface. So this class will be known as scheduled Apex class. Now. With the help of uh, anonymous window, I will show you like how we can schedule this uh, Apex class. And then I will show you like how we can schedule it with the help of UI. So here I'm going to create instance of this class first. So I created instance named as reminder. Now I need to create one acronym uh, that is uh, defining date and time. So it's first argument is seconds, then minutes, hours, day of month, month, day of week and year. So I'm going to create one string. So second zero, hour zero, minutes zero, day of month is 15, month is three. For day of week, I'm marking question mark and year I'm mentioning as uh, 2022. Now I'm going to use this uh, acronym. So string job ID equals to system.schedule. So first parameter will be text. So I'm passing as remind OPP owner. Second, the date and time acronym that we created and then instance of the class, uh, instant, instance of the scheduled Apex class. So now if you execute uh, these statements, so your class will be scheduled automatically. So I'm just going here and doing a refresh so that I can show you like nothing is nothing is scheduled as of now. Now I'm going to execute this code that was written on anonymous window and I'm doing a refresh. So you will see one more row in the Apex job list for scheduled Apex. So here you can see uh, job type is scheduled Apex status queued and uh, here you can see the apex class name through which it will be executed and this is the job id so this way your job is scheduled with the help of code now i'm going to show you how you can schedule it with the help of ui so that is very simple so what you need to do you need to search for your apex class so you can type apex classes so name of classes remind OPP owners. So you can go here and click on R. So uh, here it is available and you can see this button is there. So if you click on this button, so here you can mention the job name. So let's say I'm naming it as run OPP processor daily or maybe uh, remind OPP job and uh, here we need to search for the class so uh, i am choosing this one and here you can see uh, frequency is weekly and monthly so if you select monthly so uh, these options will be available like on the day of or on first or whatever option you want to select if you go for weekly so these check boxes are available and uh, then we have uh, start end date so when it will start and when it will end the duration and preferred start time so these are the things with the help of this you can also schedule your uh, scheduled apex class so this way i hope you understood like how to implement uh, in a schedulable interface so that we can convert any apex class into a scheduled apex class and how we can schedule apex class through code as well as through ui